Hey everybody, back out in the garage today. Do another install on the old Can-Am. Today, we're gonna put the exhaust in. GGB exhaust. See how it works. We gotta replace the pipe here and the exhaust there. So we gotta get taking stuff off. But before we do that, we're gonna fire it up and get a sound on the stock exhaust. Then when we're done, we'll do the same thing to the new exhaust. So I'll get you set up and we'll do that. All right, cold start on the stock exhaust. So that's the stock exhaust. Now we'll get to work on tearing this apart. And when we're all done, we'll compare it with the aftermarket exhaust. Here we go. I don't know if I need to, but first thing I'm gonna take off is the storage box. It just has four wing nuts in here, just like this on each side. If I pull those off, like that okay next I think I got to take that this off so all right I got the fascia off back here it was just five bolts four corners and one in the center so I set it over here because my backup camera is still attached to it but that should be far enough away. And then I'll have to decide if I'm gonna put it back on or not. If I'm not, I'll have to move my backup camera. But so far so good. We'll see what what comes off next. But it wants me to pull the, the tip and the spark arrestor off of the stock muffler here. set this with the other exhaust for now right there okay remove inlet retainer springs all right I can't find my spring spring puller so I made one I did a test come off let's see if the rest will Got it. One 
more. It's a little big, a little thick, but it's working. Ooh, this one's. I don't know if that one will work. Got it off. Just had to come in from a different angle. Let me drop the screen. There's one, two, three, four springs. Got all four with my homemade puller. It's like a tent stake. I just bent the end and folded this in just a little more. It's a little thick, but it worked. We'll be here with this. All right, I'm assuming the mounts for the muffler come off next, but let's see. Remove frame bracket bolts. All right, no position of the RHS full floating rectangular spacer. Let's see, I'm assuming those are the 13 millimeter. Yes. Okay. I'll get those off and I'll be right back. All right, I got those off. I think now I just lift this out. Somehow. Western with it. There's a muffler. Oh, that's pretty heavy. Set it down. All right, now we go to town getting the other piece off. Let me read the instructions. Here. All right, I just got to get this off now. So, when I got this exhaust, maybe I'll put the video in, but on my unboxing, the instructions. See this piece missing? We're stuck to the heat shield. There's some kind of sticky and they tore off. So my instructions on how to take the cat pipe off to put the cat delete in there, uh, I don't have them. So I'm just gonna wing it. I think there's just some clamps, probably two or three clamps and then the, the nut for the sensor in there then the exhaust clamp so i'll figure that out because this is no help at all i get the first three words of each each instruction but we'll figure it out we'll wing it that's the only my only complaint about this is when it showed up the box was mangled and hammered and wasn't even a real box and then the instructions tear when i try to get them out off the heat shield so hopefully the exhaust is a lot better than the packing but We'll wing it, we'll get it out, and here we go. Let me get you set up so you can see again. I think that should work right there. Let's see, uh, pretty sure this is a 10 millimeter. I need my extension here. Probably just the little one. Hope it's an eight. I should have known that. Come on now. All right, I was worried I was gonna have to pull the seats out, but with them slid forward, I could get this piece out. I gotta undo this nut right here. I gotta loosen this clamp off. And then I should be able to slide that off. So I'm gonna do that and I'll bring you back. All right, we're getting that in. Got this clamp on right here. Still a little loose. This clamp broke, so I had to go get a new one. I uh, got this threaded back in. Just trying to get it lined up to get the clamp on the turbo. I'll have to do that from the inside, I think. But 
It's coming along. We'll get that clamp on the turbo. On. All right, we got this in here. Clamp on. Take you out here and show you. We've got this in place. I put the shield back on. I uh, got this clamp on, got the sensor bolted back in, the other clamp on, and we're just getting ready to mount the muffler. It's just sitting in there. I uh, got the old heat shield off and the new one on that they give us to put on. They take the old heat shield off for some reason and just do that aluminum plate. So we got this mount in and we're just doing the, the nuts on it right now to get that exhaust in. It's gonna sit about like that. So we'll get those tightened down. We're almost ready to fire this baby up and listen to it. We'll be back. Well, I think we're done. Got the spark arrestor back on, heat shield, muffler. The cat delete pipes all in, tightened down. We're gonna, I'm gonna wipe it all off, get the fingerprints off and then we'll fire it up and see what she sounds like. Here goes the spark. Yeah, I like it. Okay, we're gonna get the cover back on and the trunk back on and this thing's ready to go test. What do you think? Do we leave the back off so you can see it or do we put it back on? Yeah. I kind of think we put it back on because it has my backup camera on it. If not, I gotta remount that somewhere, which I probably could up here, but. I got a helper over there. He's working on it. Now you can't even tell it's there. Looks factory again. But once it cools down, we'll go test her out. See how it goes. But she's all buttoned up back together. Everything's ready to go rip. So we'll get her cooled down outside. It's like 106, 107 right now. So. Once it's cooled down, we'll go out, but all done. Not too bad, that was pretty easy. Even with the instructions not being all the way there, I got her figured out. Watched one YouTube video to see how many clamps were under here and up in here, but we got it. I thought about leaving the back off. It looked cool, but I got my backup camera screwed to the back here, so I didn't want to have to remount it. So we put the back back on. And I put the spark arrestor on just to be legal, but we're done. We're going to go eat some pizza. You ready to go eat pizza? Yeah. What are we going to go eat? What's Tools. What's hey, get out, make some memories of your own. Have fun. Like and subscribe if you want more content like this. I got more stuff I want to do to this. Uh, it'd be nice to show you. So follow along, subscribe to the channel. If you like what we're doing, give us a like. Or if you don't, I guess, give us a dislike. Either way, uh, leave some comments. I reply to almost every comment I get on there. So we're growing, growing slowly, but we are growing. Have a good weekend. We will see you next time.